Hi kids, welcome back to the art room. For today's project, project you are going to need an empty toilet roll, like this, a scissors, and paint if you have it, but if you don't have paint, you can color the toilet roll with crayons or markers or anything else you have laying around. So here is the final little octopus. That's what he looks like. See how cute? And this is what you're going to do. You take your toilet roll and there should be a line where the glue was. Do you see that line? And maybe so that you don't forget, you can go around the line with a pencil or a marker to remind you. You can't go past that line when you cut. That is red light. So then you're going to start to cut little cuts all the way up to the line, round and round. Now, an octopus in real life has eight legs, but the one I made had 10. That's okay, yours can have as many as you want. Now remember, when you cut, when you hold the scissors, you never cut with this part of the crocodile's teeth because they are not sharp. You always gotta cut with the back ones, right in there. So you're gonna go put your scissors right up to the edge of the roll and cut 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 stop red light at the line and then move around a little bit further and i'm doing it again cut 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 up to the line no further than that line and then when you've cut all the way around see here i've got lots of legs you you have the choice of keeping your legs flat like that at the bottom or you could cut them pointy like this one and two you could make the legs pointy like that or you could just leave them flat for this one i'm just going to leave it flat now once you've painted the whole outside or color the whole outside you also need to color inside a little bit on the insides of the legs like that so turn it backwards and color on that part inside because you're going to see the underneath of his legs as well. Once the, the whole octopus is colored or painted, then what we're going to do is take one leg at a time and roll it and roll it and roll it and roll it. And maybe your mom or dad could help you do this. So here's one and then I'm going to roll the next one. Some of them where the joins are, are a little harder to roll. But when you're finished rolling all of them all the way, I'm just going to do a few to show you. See, I've done the ones in the front. See how they curl up? Then you'd finish all the ones in the back and then you could use a marker to make all the little suckers on the octopus's tentacles. So you can make little round suckers like that all over. But don't go above the line because above the line is going to be where we draw his eyes. So I'm gonna draw two little eyes. I'm drawing backwards. Whoa, that looks funny. He's a squint octopus. And a little happy smile. And that's it. Easy. You have an octopus. And you could do a whole family of octopuses. Now, if you don't have a paintbrush, you could take a match or a stick and take some of your mom's cotton from a cotton ball like that. And you could push the end of the stick in and twist it around tight. Or you can do a Q-tip that you clean your ears with. You can use that too. Those make lovely spots and you dip into the paint and make the spots all over the octopus. So there's your little octopus. Make a family of octopus and take a picture and send it to me. I would love to see them. Okay, have fun. See you next time. Bye.